one of the concepts we teach is this 20, 20, 20. You've probably heard this before. And the first thing that happens is the hygiene exam, right? That's the first thing. And we don't have these in any particular order, and I'll tell you one reason why, one little tip here, is um, that one of the things we found, super simple again, that as soon as you finish your hygiene exam, remember that's the first 20 minutes of your visit, you call the doctor, right? You signal the doctor for exam. And that way doctor can come in any time in those remaining 40 minutes that he or she is available, okay? So instead of waiting till the end, right, our doctor is not there to check our scaling, right? Doctor is there because doctor is making the final diagnosis and giving a blessing to whatever treatment we have discussed with the patient, okay? So doctors, you know, if you, if you don't feel comfortable trusting your hygienist to not check at the end, then I think there's a conversation to be had there. And hygienist, right, be willing to allow your doctors to interrupt that scaling time because it's really going to help you stay on time. So instead of waiting to the last five or ten minutes to call for the exam and then all of a sudden it's kind of an emergency and everybody gets stressed out, as soon as you complete that hygiene exam and you collected all that data, then go ahead and signal for the doctor. Okay? And then if doctor still hasn't been able to come in, once you get to about ten minutes towards the end of your appointment, call again. Right? And really work with your assistant team as well and saying, look, this is something I'm more hoping to do that's going to reduce your stress. So instead of me calling doctor at the very end of my appointments, I'm going to call her as soon as I finish with my exam time. Okay? And that means all of those things are completed before the exam, completed before scaling starts.